Welcome back to Quiz Time. Welcome to Quiz Time with Tom and Simon. <laughs> we answer questions. We try not to get them wrong. We're kind of like more still on the spooky theme, huh? Oh, it's a spooky month, Tom. Presumably, if this video goes out in October. <laughs> I guess. Uh, so, today we're directing a horror movie. Oh, God. Is that spooky enough? That's really spooky. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, you've been chosen to direct a horror movie. Is it me? Yeah. Oh, my God. So what is your come true. What is your goal for the movie, Simon? For it to be enjoyed by young teens and adults? I want to make money. I want to make fuckloads of money. I want it to be the start of a franchise. Ooh. I want Jason Bloom, Blum, actually, Blum, Bloom, Blum, Jason Blum. <laughs> so, Jason Bloom? Jason. J Jason? Jason? Jason <laughs> Bloom to buy the franchise. Right. I'll have a giant statue of me made. Right, wait, is this after the movie's done really well. Well, yeah. first we need to try and make the movie. Oh, right, sorry. Okay. Uh, you're getting a bit ahead of yourself. Yeah. So it's to be enjoyed by young teens and adults, for it to have a familiar spooky feel to it, for it to be filled with jump scares and a story, and it still be unique. Uh, for it to give so many jump scares and chills, you'll cry for mama. Mama! <laughs> like that. I want it to be filled with jump scares and story and still be unique. Nice, that's a good, <laughs> that feels like just the best one. Uh, who's the main character? A typical teenager, a private investigator, an adult that just wants to feel like he or she fits in, the victim of a scary paranormal happenings since he or she will. Be. Oh, that's good, yeah, the last one. Okay, that's fun. Who's the bad guy? A ghost. Paper, snow. A ghost! A mix of spirits and a murderer. Ooh, a mix of spirits, like a cocktail. Ooh. <laughs> I'll have a Manhattan. People... Jason takes Manhattan. Nice. 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 What's like, what's your one? I feel like this is, this is actually quite like a fun quiz. Um, I'm into this now. I'm into I do like just not showing things off and it just being a mystery. So I think it's going to be like... You know, either a group of people or creatures that you never really find out okay. sort of like what they are, their true goal. It's just hinted at during the events of the movie. Sure. So Brand. maybe like a cult or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's the villain look like? A typical ghost slash spirit slash ghost, <clears throat> barely visible and see through. An all person, but hidden. Ugly scars. Excuse me. A person that hides himself with a mask. And there are spirits, remember that. <laughs> An evil person with a deformed <coughs> face that is extremely realistic and mysterious to the audience. That's a bit strange. Yeah, sure, let's go for like the evil uh, deformed cult leader. Who's realistic and mysterious. Yeah, he can be realistic and mysterious. Sure. What provides comic relief for the audience? The protagonist. Fart jokes. Fart jokes. Okay, well, there might be some. Both the, pro the protagonist. Hello, darkness, my protagonist. Both the protagonist and the antagonist. The protagonist. <laughs> there is pretty much no comic relief. I like things scary. Well, it's nice to have, like, some comic relief. I think maybe the protagonist provides a bit of comic relief because they've been, like, so haunted by this like cult since maybe you know their family were taken away like and like their grandfather managed to get them out of the cult right and maybe to like cope with that the protagonist sort of has a sense of humor and it's based on my life it's it's time for the cult to meet my cult 45 no one's here who am i talking to they just I've been through a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of... I, I want, like, an example of, like, a quip. Okay. Uh, the protagonist has clearly lost their mind, but they're still trying to stay grounded in reality. And they have, basically, like, an imaginary friend that they talk to. But the imaginary <laughs> friend... <laughs> no. The imaginary friend is, like, a puppet that they have. Okay. 
And the okay. puppet looks like a person. Right, okay, I kind it of kind of like looks this. like a person. It's quite realistic. So it's, so it's puppet. a hand puppet, not yeah. like a marionette. No. Because a marionette would be much creepier. So it's just like a, it's like a ventriloquist dummy with like a weird eye that he's always looking up. <laughs> I don't know why they call it paranormal. It should be called para-crazy. <laughs> That's right, Mr. Bubbles. <laughs> okay, right, sure. It's okay, I'm getting into this. This is kind of fun. Oh, God. Uh, now that you have some of your plot, what will the title look like? Ghosts and Spirits? Oh, Revenge in his manner? Terrible. The Cursed. Sure, The Cursed, sure. It's the only one that isn't complete trash. When does the action take place? Always at night. There's action throughout, but mostly when it's dark. Uh, it takes place in the day and night, but the criminal always finds a way to make it dark when you least expect it. I mean, what, physically dark or just dark in... Th in yeah, theme, they've got the fucking, mood. like, Harry Potter thing. Are you okay? Pause. Yeah, I just managed to close my thumb on the nicotine thing. I just <laughs> trapped it in there. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> um... <laughs> Action throughout, mostly when it's dark, sure. Okay. Uh, where is one of the jump scares? Near the ceiling? <laughs> corner closet of room? Outside at night at door? Uh, outside at night at door. Okay, <laughs> sure. There's like a, a false jump scare. There's like oh. a scratching on the door. And the protagonist is like nervously... Hey, don't worry, buddy. Everything's gonna work out <laughs> fine. Thanks, Mr. Bubbles. But shh, be quiet. This is a very tense moment. Sorry, I just have a habit of running my mouth off. And he opens the door. Now this is very tense. That's built up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm really like. And he goes to open the door, and it's like nothing there. And then suddenly a figure appears, and it's a guy with an Amazon package. Nice. And <gasps> in the package is actually like something creepy. Okay. Like a set of knives. Um, You're like, what? Are you send these knives here? Oh. It's a Chris. <laughs> a Chris <gasps> with a gem in it. Oh my god. It's uh, Chris Trot's head in the box. What's in the box? <laughs> What's in the box? Oh god! Oh god! How does the movie end? Oh. Ghosts take over the world. Me. Well, well that's unique. Well, that's unique. Uh, criminal is caught. The movie ends in one last jump scare. Oh. Classic. A criminal is supposedly caught, but there are several unsolved mysteries and one last jump oh, scare. Oh, yeah, the last one. The last one. They think that the person's been caught. Okay. But not not everything's been answered. Like, what is the motives of the cult? Maybe we don't quite know. And then, like, a, a little... <laughs> right at the end. Nice. I like that. Does your movie actually show anybody getting killed? Oh, yeah, it's got to. Come on. No way. Yes, but it's brief. Uh, pretty brief and not too gory. Yes, and sometimes even in a slightly gruesome manner. But that's not the majority of the movie, of course. And even the strongest guy <laughs> dies near the end, leaving the viewer to think that their next angry face, yeah. evil face. Uh, the, the third one, it's you like, know, a pretty so a, a few gruesome deaths, not many, but. You know, like like three incredibly gruesome deaths spaced out. Yeah, in the movie. yeah. Uh, finally, do you want to make a sequel to the movie? Oh, definitely. Uh, you know, I want the, those uh, Blum Bucks. Those sweet Blum Bucks. Yeah. Yes. And with the sequel, it will solve the mystery from the last one. But not much because that is for a viewer to decide. So you get some of the answers, right. some of the mysteries solved. So me. you learn a bit more about like the backstory you of the cult. You are mean. You are mean. Yeah, the last one, sure. Okay. <clears throat> right, and is it going to tell us what the movie is? Please log in. Wow. Scary! The problem was that you demanded for your movie to be so scary that there were not enough breaks from the drama or comic relief. <laughs> it left people's, people scared but also really confused on what they just watched. With little story and just a whole bunch of scares. But I still got scary and 85% scary. Ooh, that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. Okay, so just like little pitch for you. Okay. Right, <clears throat> the cult, they're after this person this yeah. whole time. And it turns out the cult is actually, they're actually trying to save the person 
and the thing that's creating all the evil and the spookums is the puppet. And the puppet's evil. Mr. Bubbles? No! And they think that they're crazy talking to the puppet, but the puppet does actually talk. Oh my god! And the, the cult's trying to save them, but they all, the cult always like dies, the person always gets away because the puppet like wills it. Oh fuck! How does that oh, sound? Oh, I love it! I love it! How? I'd watch that movie. There you go, The Cursed. The Cursed. Starring Mr. Bubbles! Mr. Bubbles! Who would voice Mr. Bubbles? Like Seth Rogen. Seth, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What was that? It's just like, what's his laugh? I don't know, people often, like sometimes say that. <laughs> it's like... It's <laughs> there are compilation videos of Seth Rogen laughing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like, I like his laugh. Bam. So, next up, make a horror movie and we'll guess my darkest secret. Oh my god. What do you... Oh no. You have so many, like... They're not secrets, though. We know that you're horrible, deep, dark things. Oh god. Um, I'm not sure just... if the viewers know. Oh my god. Could this be an exclusive? Exactly. You went to cat fucking. I went to farting. Wow. So... First of all, choose a setting for your horror masterpiece. Uh, a haunted house, abandoned hospital, a fairground, enchanted castle. That fucking castle looks amazing. That is kind of cool. <laughs> a spooky forest. Oh, I like a haunted house. Yeah. Because you get a bit of forest in that. You know, you could have an underground medical bit if you wanted. Oh, the secret lab. There could be a playground. Castle, not so much. Like... Actually, a castle could be good. Oh, fuck, all of them could be good. But haunted house. Bam. I'm staying old school. I like okay. I like me a good haunted house. When would it take place? Oh. So, a decade or present day or in the future? In the future, in a haunted house. That's a bit weird. Would that be more like um, I don't know, like Resident Evil? Yeah. Thirteen Ghosts. That house always oh, feels yeah. very futuristic. With like, ah, these are the, the glasses, you put them on and you can see ghosts. Because <laughs> of science. I think the 50s would be like a cool setting. I wish you could go earlier. So the 1880s. That could be cool, do like a fucking like a western. A haunted house western. Yeah. You know, you've got like one of those big like plantation houses. It's after oh, the American, God. the American Civil War, they go back there. Dead slaves. Like, well, I was thinking more like, you know, the, the horrible like family, the slave owners. Yeah. They've been like the rising up and like, bam, they've all been like hung and burnt in the house. Oh, and now you just like- you me. <laughs> I like the idea that the, the protagonist is a black guy. Oh, that'd be even better, that'd be so good. And he's being haunted by these old races. Yeah, oh no. Oh my God. Uh, that, you could either play oh, that- that's fucking good. I really like seriously, that. or it'd be the tone of scary movie. Bye, Miss Laura. <laughs> Like, maybe the 50s would be cool, because it's got, like, a nice aesthetic. I'm going to say the 50s. Wow, okay. Just, <clears throat> could be fun. It'd either be 50s or present day, but... So it's like a, a businessman has is, is moved into this house, and it, his wife is, you know, she's just a housewife there. They've got a bunch of kids. They've all got, like, lovely fucking period haircuts and, and dresses and stuff. Yeah, yeah, that, that'd be good. Who would star in my horror movie? Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo there. in the 50s? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Why not? I, I'm not sure how, like, the kind of character that he plays would fit into, like, a 1950s movie. It would be... I don't know. We white him up. Oh, my God. You can't white him up. Jesus. Hey, honey, I'm home! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like that. Um, oh, why not? What they be up against? Beings from another planet, faceless monster. Look at that fucking thing. Someone alive but crazy, vampires. Faceless monster, I reckon you, there's more stuff you can oh, do. Oh god. Uh, spirits, I don't know, they always get a bit, like, sometimes get a bit samey. So your faceless monster has, uh, maybe some superpowers? Or maybe not. Um... Super speed! <laughs> a vast weapon arsenal is a bit... I mean, it's supposed to be a horror movie. You can't just have a bad monster. guy with like a bazooka. What the fuck is that? 
It's a bit weird. Oh, yeah, with Danny Trejo, he's on a motorbike with a machine gun. The monster is firing rockets at him. <laughs> oh my god, it sounds terrible. All set within the house. Oh no. Teleportation could be fun. It just blinks around. Yeah. And it's got no face. Perfect. Pick the cover art for your movie. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh, that's so good. Oh, what's that one? What's that, that was, one? That was probably, oh. probably the best. Sure. Uh, okay. Give your movie a title. They're coming for us. Under the bed. The doll room. <laughs> the creature behind the mirror. The unending night. The children of the evil one. I kind of like the creature behind the mirror. It's kind of fun. Because initially you only see it reflected in things. Yeah, yeah. So that'd be a jump scare. He's like, da 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 Just do it my hair. <laughs> Put <it> some wax in. <laughs> la la la. Just listening. <laughs> oh my listening god. Listening to Glenn Miller. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Oh, so your deep oh. darkest secret is that you love being the centre of attention. Oh. You act like you're trying to keep a low profile and that you're you're a very modest person, but you secretly love being the centre of attention. Wherever you go, you try to make an impression and your charisma and laughter are almost magnetic. Yeah. Are you... How accurate percentage-wise, would you say? I'd say that's like a good fucking, like, 50 to 60%. I mean, that's not bad for all my quiz, really. Like, I think, you know, I like I like to chat. You do like to chat. Right, well, do you want to um, do direct another horror movie and we'll find out your age? Okay, sure, why not? <clears throat> Let's play. Golden Balls. Pick a setting. Oh. An old rundown motel, a hospital, a mansion, a summer camp. I do like old rundown motels. There's something so creepy about being a place that you've never been oh, to shit. before and you'll never go back there. And like everyone who stays there is like in the same situation. Yeah. Pick a decade. Oh my god. The sixties, the fifties, the seventies, the eighties. Fuck it, let's make it the eighties. Look at those dresses. Look at that hair. Eighties is like a good I love it. A good setting. Pick the main character. The main character is actually Tom Cruise. He's a character in the film in the 1980s. Oh my god. Um, oh my fucking god, it's gotta be Kurt Russell. Of course. Fuck you two! Pick a phone. Oh gee! Wait, what? Uh. Pediophobia. Oh, okay. Oh, what would, what would fit in with this? What do you want? What do you want, like, your motel, Kurt Russell, what's his phobia? He's scared of water. Okay. And it, there's flooding, and they're stuck in a motel, <gasps> cut off from the rest of the world. Maybe that's it. He's been in like a traumatic event. He's like recently, in the last couple of years, gained this like fear of water. Yeah. Maybe his wife died, Drowned. and now now he's taking this Drowned. this road trip through Middle America, through the most oh, furthest yeah. from the like ocean. The dust bowl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like literally there. But like. My God, we've not seen a storm like this in like a hundred years. There's floods everywhere. Oh, I and love it. This is why everyone is like trapped in the motel now because it's like torrential rain and horrendous winds. Oh. The basement's flooding. We gotta get someone down there to get the power back up. Oh, and he has to go down there. Nice. And oh, I love it. Okay. Pick your villain. Drill. Um, Angelina Jolie. Willem Dafoe. Oh, oh Tilda Swinton. Oh. Oh, I think it's got to be Willem Dafoe. I love the idea of Willem Dafoe just being like some fucking psycho a, in this place. A water goblin. No, he's like one of the he's one of the guests there, but he's like insane. Something's something's made him go mad. Maybe he's possessed. I don't know. Okay. But well, him as a bad guy is. Mwah, okay, sure. I'm into this. Oh. Pick the first casualty. Oh no. Sibling. Oh no, it's, significant other. it's the Olsen twins. Oh no, rest in peace. Oh, a pet. Oh. Best friend. So this is uh, Kurt Russell's like brother or sister. Uh, his wife is already dead. His pet, his pet dolphin. That's how a dolphin farts. He has a trailer on the back of his car. No, that's okay. silly. That's too silly. 
Uh, goldfish, maybe that's more. It's goldfish. Yeah, it's quite ironic, in a way. It belonged to his wife, who was an oceanographer, right. and that's how she was in a situation where she drowned. Okay. And the first thing that happens is he arrives at the motel, he leaves the um, goldfish in the bowl, goes out to get a drink, he hears a smashing sound, goes back in, the room's empty, but the goldfish is on the floor. Broken. Oh, I like that. That's creepy and like really sad as well, because he can just like break down. <laughs> like a John that's, Wick. Oh, that's... <laughs> okay, I like... That's kind of... At first I was like, goldfish, dumb, but no, I, I, you, you took me on a, a mind adventure. <laughs> a mind adventure. Uh, pick a creepy image. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? They're just like the two people that run it. Oh, okay. Sure, let's go for the, the two broads <laughs> in the corridor. I'm 22 years old. Close enough. How old Harry is, isn't it? 22 years old. Oh, he's 21. Josh is 22, isn't he? Bam. There you go. I was channeling Josh. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I do. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was me. That was nothing. I wasn't making a joke. <laughs> you were... <laughs> wow, do you, when you channel Josh, you sound a lot like Simon. Yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> My oh. God, wow, 22. So... Yeah, there you Not go. Not that close. But this, I f it feels like this quiz was, it was about the journey. It wasn't about the destination. It was fun. I like these, like, making up movie yeah. movie things. It's kind of kind of interesting. But, well, that has been quiz time this week. We hope you've enjoyed it. Try not to get wet. Oh. I hope you don't have problems going to sleep. Boop. Very spooky. I don't think Very we did a boot on the last one, did we? No oh, shit. Oh shit. Should we do a boot that Josh can add in at oh. the end? Uh, that this quiz has ended. Thanks for watching. Boop. Boop. <laughs> nice.